Hey everyone, Greg Kazillo from Kazillo.com. Had a really cool question this week on Kazillo.com slash Q. You can check out the playlist, you can see the other questions, and also the answers to the questions all on that same page, all in that same playlist. You can also submit your own. Again, that's Kazillo.com slash Q to check them out. So, uh, this question, I don't know the guy's name, he submitted it, but uh, he didn't say his name in there, so I do apologize for that. But his question was, in Lightroom, do, uh, are you able to automatically apply the lens profile corrections to your files? And the answer is yes, you can do that, but I suggest not doing it 100% automatically to every single picture. I don't feel that you probably need to put it onto every picture, and I also feel as if it's going to just applying that in an automated fashion is going to be too generic for a lot of photos. Uh, for example, maybe the vignette is a little bit too much or too little that it's removing. Um, you know, as good as this plugin is, you or this portion of the develop panel is, I don't know that it's good to apply it all the time. So. Um, Here's how you do it. Here's how I suggest that you do it. Let's put it that way. All right. So uh, take your photo, go into the develop module, and then ch go open any photo. Doesn't matter. And then hit enable profile corrections. All right. That's going to automatically find out the lens and all that. It's going to leave the distortion and vignetting at zero and the setup you want at default. Then what you want to do is create a preset. So we're going to hit this preset button. Hit the plus. And then we're going to call this, uh, let's see, just Lens Profile Corrections. Alright, and we're going to check None. And then we're going to check Lens Profile Corrections right here. Alright, it's going to choose these settings that I have right here already. And then you can put it in the preset folder that you want. And then you're going to hit Create. So now it's been created and then what you can do is go back to your grid view sorry something in my eye for some reason go back to the grid view and find any of your photos say it's this one right click and develop settings presets lens profile correction and you can just hit it and it will automatically add to it that's the way that I would suggest you do it if you really really want to automatically apply it to all photos when they're being imported you just go to file uh, file and import photos and video and then you change your develop settings right here and choose your preset obviously I have tone curve strong set and that's still what I want that I want that to be applied to everything I would not want I don't think lens profile applied to everything but if you really wanted to you can apply it to all photos when you import and then you need to change and make a new import preset and or update your current import preset so that it always happens or it always gets applied. Now the second part of his question was why doesn't Adobe automatically apply that kind of thing to every picture? And the answer to that is that Adobe or Lightroom does not apply, automatically apply any settings to any photo without you setting it up first. It is going back and looking at the raw file and recording, you know, basically reading that raw data, showing you that raw data, and that's the great thing about raw is that you can make it into whatever you want without having someone else tell you, yeah, I think it, your white balance should be set to this and your contrast should be this and it should be that, you know. So that's the great thing about raw. That's the great thing about Lightroom. You can tailor it to whatever you want, however you shoot, whatever your style is whatever your type of photography is, whatever the photos that you're creating. Um, with those high types of presets like I just showed you, be able to create that, that can also save you a lot of time. So questions, comments, concerns, any other ideas, I'd love to hear them. Like I said, go to kazillo.com slash Q, submit your own questions via the, what, your own webcam, record a couple seconds, put it right up on your own YouTube channel. I promise I will reply if it's a good question. Thanks, guys. See it. Keep shooting.